Thanks, but... I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready! I forgot something, I forgot something! Now I'm really ready! Now I'm really ready! Woo! I'm so excited to go to Glove World! I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is. Or who I am. Good morning, Care Bear! Uh -huh. I'm glad to see you and Spot doing something for the environment. It's not waste if you don't waste it. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, 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 not you. Not today. This day will be about relaxation and inspiration. I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off. I will spend it with the love of my life. Myself. And my art, of course. Sounds fun. Can I help? For this, I need you to get something very important for me. Go away! Go away, SpongeBob! Come back after my alarm goes off! I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule! I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. <laughs> Good idea. A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket. Unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. I'd turn on the news, but I can hear those gas bags arguing all the way over here. All right, back it up. Nothing to see here except the giant traffic jam. Insomniac rooster? In the mood for a little morning karate? Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks, but you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. I think you might have missed a few spots. If you could take care of those, why, it'd be sweeter than stolen honey. Did I get smaller, or did these tiki's get bigger? Great job, SpongeBob! My yard's looking fine as fur on a frog! Thanks for your help, and have fun with Patrick! We can order a karate takeout food! Ah! 
Sorry, my rectangular friend. Nobody's getting through right now. We're still sorting out this massive traffic jam. Oh, I see. Well, thanks anyway, officer. Good luck cracking the case. <laughs> Hi, Pearl. And how are you on this beautiful day? Oh, SpongeBob! Didn't you hear? It's a tragedy! There's a huge sale at the mall today, but because of this stupid traffic jam, none of the buses can get me there! That is a tragedy. Well, the bus to Glove World is still running. You could join me and Patrick there instead. Um, thanks, but I have a social status to uphold. You have fun without me, SpongeBob! How could this happen to me? Why is my life, like, such a tragedy? If I start walking now, I can still catch a discount on shoes for the walk back. Huh, I wonder who's at fault here. Probably that guy. Quiet, Dan. I'm trying to sleep with my eyes open. My beloved Bikini Bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe, home to my friends and memories. I'd turn on the news, but I can hear those gas bags arguing all the way over here. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. Nah. Am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. One, one loading screen later. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Patrick. Cool kids. <laughs> Hi. Nah. <sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Mm, nah. Still not cool enough. Huh? Oh, can I have this? What, this old piece of... Magic and mystery. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh! One loading screen later. I wish. No. I wish. No. I wish. Oh, the... oh, okay. My first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. Balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Nifty bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune. 
Not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Uh -oh. <laughs> What have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh, I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All that's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I going to remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Pretty broken. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. People of Bikini Bottom eat now! And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this! Take your wobbly hand off of me! I'm too smart to end like this! Cellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing. Correct. Oh, no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. 
Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In... correct. Yoo-hoo! Over here, my little blunders. Make the crusty crab disappear! Why didn't I think of that? My adorable cuties! You survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra! We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom! And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 I miss my Gear Bear! <laughs> oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble extravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. Oh, brothers! You must feel awful about this, huh? Make sure to bring lots of jelly back so I can craft new costumes for you. like some kind of pastoral cattle rancher. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. One of our friends might be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. Strong feeling we're not bikini bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. Yeet! Ho! Yeet! Ho! Yeet! Ho! Oh, sorry, partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're going to want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. You're going to want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Phew, what a fun ride. Yeah, let's get in line and ride it again. Sticky sweet. I don't get what Cassandra wants with this stuff. The only thing I want out of jelly is jelly sandwiches. Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, 
Then bring her jelly, we shall. Sticky sweet. SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? No, oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. <laughs> We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her! She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Sticky sweet. Pursue that paraphernalia! Huh. Maybe we can take this path later. But who knows? Maybe not. luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. death experiences on this ranch before. Yeah, it's the Wild West for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mmm, I love ranch. Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. <laughs> my very own license! Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fay. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready, set, and go! No! SpongeBob, jump! Enjoy. Well done, SpongeBob. You scored 35.7 points. Go around! Keep on smashing! Enjoy. SpongeBob, look out! That's awfully close. Oh, sorry, nothing Don't personal. Make me go <laughs> Dear, you have six points. <laughs> Out of seven. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh, no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. <laughs> Here's your license. Thanks, partner. A license. <laughs> She can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse like animals, with the exception of. Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. Ooh, more we made it to Manta Fey, my floating friend. My butt is killing me from all that riding you had to do. Jeff might be at the saloon if you're still looking for him. I mean, it's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, in. Better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it zips straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! <laughs> Ain't you fuller of surprises than my socks after a sandstorm? Taking on them jelly bandits like that? Let's see what you're really made of. Grab your straw! Any chance you can go up to Cactus Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? 
The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. Don't you worry, Sheriff. Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. Did you get the cactus juice from the Cactine Hills yet? I ain't afraid of these bandits. I'm just a conformist. Hey, cutie pie. Care for a tune about the red-handed bandit? The red-handed bandit? Do tell! Oh, the cactus juice in Manta Bay made every day feel sunny. Till an outlaw came a-riding through to make a little money. That vile, twisted, tight-fisted, red-handed bandit. He robbed us of our juice and left our barrels dry. That vile, twisted, tight-fisted, money-grubbing, land-loving, red-handed bandit. This red-handed bandit sounds like one bad dude. Don't worry, lady. We'll find more cactus juice and bring it back to Manta Fey. Nothing scarier than jelly bandits, except maybe vampires and public speaking. These jelly thugs got no backbone. Ouch! Don't let them hurt me. I I'm an ugly crier. I don't like cactuses. They're not even pretty. They're just... Green, juicy, and thorny. Like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Uh-oh. Looks like it wants to duel. Point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for him since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them Cacteen Hills. And don't ye scam your hard working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick, let's find those thorny cucumbers! <laughs> Ooh, look! An old warning sign. It says, Cacteen Hills. Spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand. Enjoy! This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Oh, baby, that cactus is way up there, huh? Sticky swing. Funny meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's Juicy Prophet, I mean, uh, Cacta, all around these parts. Now get! This is it, 
Patrick. That juicy cactus gold awaits us. Yeet! Huh. Another old warning sign. It reads, beware of bullworm? Why worry about a little worm? That should cover my buns. Sticky sweet. Don't live longer in the city. It just seems that way.
We gotta bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. Sticky sweet! You got a knack for reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. One barrel down. Follow that trail, my little saps. More chafing. Oh, I'm going to need more set than that, boy. Oh, <sighs> bring me some more set. Go on, get! Sticky sweet! Ooh, a miracle of monster birth. Spongebob. 
All this desert must be giving you sand brain. Ow, 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 ow. You do care. It says, mine closed, bullworm activity. That little wormy must be pretty busy to make such big holes. Well, maybe we should keep moving, Patrick. Sign says, Turn back! Mine closed! Hungry bullworm! Seriously! This little worm sounds like a big problem. <clears throat> How old is this sign again? Looks like you've come a real long way. Be a shame if you screwed up now. And hey, don't pay any attention to him. What can possibly go wrong? We've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a goose. I see. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. And take me toward it. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. We've got it! 
this way yet. It's so dark. I'm flying! Howdy, strangelings. What brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost. It's all mine. We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend's so many guns on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That Don Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. Found him a tooth yet? Sticky sweet! If I was a tooth on the loose in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? It smells like Gary's litter box in here. That smell is not me. I swear. Oh! We got the golden tooth! Hurry! Let's get back to the monitor before something comes looking for it! It could be worm food by now. But since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. Thanks for bringing back my tooth. It still fits! A few seconds later... ourselves a train to catch. May I? <laughs> Funny coincidence, huh? Bandits steal our train and Mr. Krabs happens to be on it. Hold on! Mr. Krabs is the red-handed bandit! 
We have to get closer so we can bring them home! SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Listen. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! We 
should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. That lady knows everything. It's like she has this all planned out. 